What's good? And what's poppin'? And what's good? Not his mama. Oh my god, I can't do them. Today we are gonna be discussing mamas. No, I'm joking. So we're discussing Being our mothers, mothers, our mothers enablers. Yeah? That's what we're gonna talk about. Our mothers enablers. And what we mean by enablers are like did they enable their sons or daughters to be fuckery to be on smoke like like what do you think a hundred a hundred percent it's not even a yeah. more so i would say more so mums with sons yeah do you know what i'm saying yeah. they've got a bigger influence and they're more yeah. involved like that relationship like if you think about it if you watch any of those programs <laughs> And the mums and the sons. The mums are always Ooh, involved yeah. with that scrappy. Nah, you know, that's that's, that's the first one I thought like, of. Scrappy Mama D. Even, even, no. Um, what's his name? Oh, mm. not J Jim Jones, mum. You know, like. <laughs> always. Always, in, yeah. Like, Mama Jones. Like, everyone's, in. yeah. They're mm -hmm. mamas. And, like, you see, I get it. Like, you have love for your sons and you have love for the did and the did and the did. But. When you are, when you know your son's doing wrong, you don't need to tell your son he's doing wrong, and stop enabling him to hurt a woman, especially those mums who've been through the same struggles. That's what I was just gonna say. I don't rate it as as like there's no you don't tap into the the woman side. Do you get yeah. where you can understand yeah. the woman? Like, oh my god, I've been there. Like, do you know have that chat with your son? Blah blah blah. Yeah. Even if he ain't gonna listen, you know you've said your part. You're not encouraging it. Do you get what I mean? Like, he's a big man, he's going to do what he wants to do. Yeah. But I've spoken to my child. Mm -hmm. And and it's not even that. It's that nah, and I even hear that saying, he's a big man, does what he wants to do. But then he's living in your house and you're seeing Sarah, oh. Tony Ann, Lebelez, mm -hmm. Not Lebelez. me. I've, I'm a mother to a son and I've always said it. You can yeah, vouch me on this. Yeah. I am not going to be that mum. Yeah. See, anything you want to do that's fuckery. Leave me and my good, good name out of it. Yeah. I'm not going to... You can't phone me. Mum, just say I was with you. No, you wasn't with me when she phoned me. I don't know where he was. <laughs> Be like, to be honest, I was trying to get him to let me know. You could, oh, not even that. You don't want to see the girls upstairs. Um, so where is Rachel's hair? Like, where are you going? Like, I might not... If, if, if you brought a girl in my house, I might not show him off like that. But I'm telling him, get her out. And I'm making it loud. So your girl's going to know. She's going to be uncomfortable. Sounds you're going to be uncomfortable. Yeah. Get everyone out of my house. Because yeah. don't... I'm not bringing my child up like that. Yeah. If furthermore, I don't want to meet every girlfriend, your links, any, everyone, blah, blah. You just bring home the, the solid that, girls, yeah. do you get what I mean? The one that you think your long-term relationship, the one that you might want to choose as your baby mum. Yeah. It might not always work out, but I don't want to see everyone passing through my door, getting to know everybody and all these things. No, have have a bit of respect. Have a bit of respect. That's what I'm going to say. There's levels to certain things. Like, that's what I want you to respect. And, yeah. you know. And just, just like... Yeah, just just do better. Especially when you you see a woman like, you see your son just have a baby, or you see your son just do something that like getting married, and then you you know your son's out doing stuff like, be that mom to sit down and talk to him and be like, son, like stop yeah. that, but do better. Like I'm your mom. Like I've been through so, such and such and such, and you see me go through the there, and you see me struggle by myself. Like why would you put another? One? You never hear. I never really hear mums school their sons like that. Is that, that I think that's what's missing for real I, I, never, yeah. I don't think I heard I don't that mums I don't believe those conversations happen I think it's more of a I think a lot of mums are so focused on having like this friendship kind of bond yeah. with their sons that they they miss the whole mark of schooling them like and you know making them be a better yeah. I, I know dads are supposed to be involved as well but you can only show like boys love their mums yeah if they heard the hurt that you've been through they could probably sit back and reflect and be like right wow, like that made my mum feel this way i don't want to do that to no one yeah. else do you know what i mean i don't want to put no one through what my mum told me broke her or whatever the case may be so but then i've seen my i've seen like i've no sons who saw their mums get like saying moved to battered by their dads and they've seen like the the how it's made their mum as a woman or they've seen it and want it better for their mum Mm -hmm. But then it'll be them same guys that will still go and do the every to woman or then pick up the dad's trait and be another woman. But this is where I say the mums don't quite involved because they'll be quiet about it. 
They'll be quiet about it. They're not going to say that, son, I know you saw me, da 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 da, and da da da, and you was hurt for me. And he, the thing was sad is that he will be still hurt for his mum, you know, and still have that pain for his mum, mm -hmm. but then will still go and do the same thing his dad done to his mum. But there's no one in that middle person to say, like, look, son, it's weird though. It's wrong. Because when you say that, I think I've think I've noticed that guys that come from a household like so if you're like the only son and then there's daughters and mothers that you obviously you live with your mum and like your sisters. Yeah. I find those men have more of an understanding on how to treat women and what to do better by women and whatever. Yeah. Maybe it's that they have they're having those open honest conversations with their sisters. Yeah. Or they're seeing, or they're yeah, seeing yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like they're seeing it and because they're siblings, you can have that conversation yeah. so they can get a better understanding. Whereas with some mum, you don't chat, you might not think, oh, yeah. you want to talk to your son about that or yeah. whatever the case may be. But that is crucial for them to know because I feel like when they have that conversation with their sisters and they get that look on life, like, yeah. wow, like they have a better understanding of yeah. what women want, like how to treat a woman, do you know what I mean? Things that, you know, the more the emotional side of it than yeah, yeah, with yeah, a woman. Yeah, it's true. But mums are just like, you know. I feel that, especially if you're a mum and the, the dad ain't around, I think you're more focused on being the the friend or this the father figure. Oh, yeah. You're trying to be that father figure. But they figure. know that, like, with a woman, like, you see, like, they can't really be a father figure, so you you um kind of use another be method of, yeah, being a yeah. friend and, and, and also babying them. Mm -hmm. Babying that, 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 that son, like, being that extra mum now. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the dad that been there, so let me extra baby him. So this is why certain men will... Like no shade to no man that I might know or might think it's about them, but like at a big age, like your mum's house still because you're still getting babied, you're still getting that cooked dinner, babes. It's in the microwave. Another thing, this is another thing that I'm not gonna sit down and be like, if my son, you you've got a relationship with your woman. Yes, you might have a room in my house. If you not just had a dumb argument, you think you're coming here, go back fix to it, your home, fix baby. It. Fix that. Do you get what I mean? It. That's I'm telling you, go back home and fix that. Yeah. You're not sleeping here tonight. Yeah. You gotta sometimes it's. I get the tough, it's tough love, I think. I think, yeah. personally, I view it as that anything I'm doing is from the goodness of my heart. Obviously, mm -hmm. I want the best for my child. But sometimes, being real and, and being tough with them is the only way they're going to they're gonna I understand. Yeah. yeah, or learn and be a better man. Do you know what I mean? Don't, no, I'm not going to be an enabler and be like, all right, son, oh, she's pissing you off. Oh, yeah, don't let her sit down and yeah. tell you. And yeah, I didn't like her anyway or yeah. whatever. Do you get what I mean? That's, I'm not with that, yeah. that flow of things. You need to... Mm -mm. Or even using your mom's house as the whole house. So you yeah. live with me now, and then you're going to your mom's house, and she's allowing you to bring the Jessica there because you know that that that's your little that's your that's, that's your thing. Might have done it in a past relationship, and you've been doing this. Mm -hmm. So now mom's happy for you to bring all the girls here, and then we, mm. and then when I come on Sunday, you want to be telling me about oh, yeah, and smiling. Oh, just, oh, they're just yeah. the worst. I'm sorry. I need to <laughs> stop. Like. This is horrible. We're trying to do better as a generation. We're trying to do better as a culture. We're trying to do better as a society, in it. So, yeah. This is specifically for, for mothers, though. This is what I'm yeah, talking is, about. Yeah. Because I've had a conversation where I've told you, like, maybe for, you know, we've all done it for maybe a cousin, a boy, a cousin, or, <clears throat> you know, a, a brother or something. It's yeah. different. Do you get what I mean? For, or even a friend. Yeah. Call me and tell me, tell me you need me to leave now because you want to get away from the girl. Or, or, sorry, or, sorry, or yeah. when my girl phone say I was just at your house, I helped you do da 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 da. And you quit to do it because I'm not lying, I've been guilty. It's not yeah. nice. I'm sorry, yeah, but that's my people. Oh, you've <laughs> met multiple girlfriends. Do you get what I mean? you're just like, what could you say? And, yeah, and you're, you're being like, nice to every one then, but what could you do? Like, that's that's your family member, that's your dog, or do that's you your whatever. Saying, it's like, different, though. I'm not saying it's right, but we do it. Do you know what I mean? We've got our people back. A lot of people back, do it. A lot of people do it. you got to separate yourself as a parent. I'm yeah. not your friend. Do what you're doing within your age group. Don't bring me in that. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you come different with me. I want better for you. So if you want to do that foolishness, do it away from me. Don't bring me in the mix. Do you know what I mean? School Touch your child. Me. Like I said, you can bring them to the water, you can't make them drink, but still, do you know what I mean? Install that in your child. It. Yeah, don't be quiet about it. Like, don't be quiet about it, because it doesn't make sense. And some, I know some mums have decided they don't want to hear the noise from the son, and if they get involved, it's like bare, bare drama for them, but you're the mum. You hold weight. Don't let your son bully you into letting him have girls, 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 girls. I mean, I'm not you're... afraid of my child, you know, I feel like that's what these, some of these mums are, like, yeah. oh, he might not want to talk to me or whatever, because you see what, you see, get mad, because you'll, you'll grow up, or at some point, you'll sit down and reflect and realise that whatever is doing, as long as you're doing it from the great, the goodness of your heart for the best for your child, 
I don't care, you can be mad at me a little more that I sent you a thing or I told the girl whatever, whatever the case may be because I'm doing it for a reason because I want you to have the best. I can see a good woman and don't forget your parents get vibes about people. So you know like they might you might not see things or you might be hung up on one little thing the girl yeah. done but i might be able to sit there and think that's a good girl you know that's yeah. a good woman you got there you know and you're yeah. missing out on that and whatever the case may be so i'm gonna push you into it you might not see that at the moment yeah. you might be yeah. like yeah but mum, she she had this number in her that. phone or yeah. one little thing and then you think that's it but she's done bare other things or she's got other qualities that yeah. i can see as a mother I'm gonna push you in the right direction. You can be mad little more. You can talk to me two months, three months, four months. That's you can come, you can miss out on my Sunday dinner every week. I wouldn't mind. I'll just make the pot smaller and I wouldn't care. Do you get what I mean? No, but okay, <laughs> you know, like that. Like, <laughs> make the pot smaller yeah. and that's it is what it is. But when you're ready, you'll come back or you'll sit yeah. back and you'll be like, right, where my mum, she only whatever. And you know when it might be? After you lose the good girl that I was yeah. trying to push you in the hands of. But that's your business. Yeah. That's how people have to learn sometimes. Do you yeah. understand? In terms of. Losing. Yeah. I don't really. I don't like to be fair. I don't really hear dads like. Well, I was saying the mum's been a neighbour as well. I don't really hear dads like say to their son, "Jay, go and be off." Like I've I've got brothers and I've never heard my dad. My dad was a bit of a. I wouldn't call him a hoe, but he he, he done his thing in it. And I've never heard him say to my brothers, "Yeah, like this is the way to be." Like he'll just say, "Like be a good man." Like mm. so, I never really. I don't know if there's dads out there that do that, but enable your sons to be. Maybe because maybe they don't have a lot of. A- a tight relationship with their dad even if, even if they're cool with their dad they might not be tight on the level where they're going to come to the house and just bring a girl doing f and whatever do you know what i mean where yeah, you, yeah. you might do that with your mum but a dad might if you might have that relationship your dad might turn a blind eye or he might not even care enough to know like who's no but who. i'm saying that there might be that if your dad if your dad if your dad's been about it in that past life mm-hmm. He just knows about man, so you look, you look, don't have that conversation that like, we're, we're saying you got you got girls, you know, like that. It's gonna come yeah, up, yeah, and then yeah, you might be yeah. like, Yeah, dad, you know, I've got a few. And then, like, I never would hear dad say, like, Yeah, go make sure you have our eggs in mask, and then like, you never really hear that. It's like, son, like, try and find a good woman, like, because they've had that. That's they've had that part where I was, just spoke about, you know, when I was saying that you know, it's no, a good you woman, good and woman, you yeah. lost a good woman, yeah. you they know what it's like to really lose a good woman because once yeah. a woman's gone, she's gone. Do you know what I mean? She could even smile on your face. She'll even cook your pot again, but you ain't getting that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. You, you could. She would be nice to you. She's she's over that. Do you know what I mean? And that bonds a man. Right. When later down the line, like I've had a good conversation with elder men that had a good good woman messed up and can't get her back can't again and back. can't really move on from that yeah have bare girls bare women after but still hold on to the one good woman that you messed up on so when you have your child now you're tra- they they're trying to give them some game on that like yeah. don't don't mess around it's not worth it do you know what i mean it's fun but it's not worth it at the yeah. end of the day and just yeah Ugh, but bang. mums yeah enabled the whole going back mm-hmm. yeah i feel like a lot of mums a lot of mums enable it and it's just not making it better for us young women who just want a guy don't have Sarah Jessica now them people in the yard no joking yeah. <laughs> but no seriously that's why some, some that's why some more um, men. women and their mother-in-laws don't have good relationships because they know what you've do you know what I mean a lot of the time it's been revealed that your yeah. mum's your mum's yeah. knew something and hid something yeah. and never showed you and still smile up in my face or whatever the case may be so you decide to stay with the man for whatever reason and the mum's the mum but you're not going to have that relationship yeah, because it's long it's long because you it's not real you're not going to sit there and tell me the truth or or you know what i mean or even if you're not telling me the truth you haven't got my back yeah do you get what i mean yeah. you, you might have seen a girl coming here you might not have, have to let me know but you knew that you had my back yeah, do you know what yeah. i mean in the in the, in the run like i weren't i weren't entertaining it yeah. but if you did want to show me and be like whatever or if it fell apart and then we come and spoke well you know we're not together blah 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 yeah, yeah. he thought you can come here with the same girl yeah. and i told him yeah. don't you know what i mean and you just be like oh all right mom this is what i'm saying yeah. do you know what i mean but then men get angry at that again with their mum the mom, you want to told her why you tell her bring her hair dad yes, it's, uh... <laughs> It's a hard one, but at the end it's of the day, life. you've got to set levels when it comes to being a mother, at, yeah. um, a mother in situations, and that's why I say with my son, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna have an easy ride in that, in that sense. Like whatever you want to do, do it outside of my doors. Yeah. I don't want to know about it. I'm not encouraging none of that, effery. Whether it comes to yeah, anything like, do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not that one. Yeah, but, yeah. 
But yeah, mums, we we'll just we we'll just ask you to please be a bit more real and stop enabling your sons to be men that you wouldn't want for yourself. So, as I keep saying, let's do better as a community. Exactly, and just do better for your children. You yeah. want you want to see them strive and do the best, and whatever the case may be. And it's not always about just trying to be their their buddy and their friend. Yes, you got to have that balance, but then you got to set yourself apart. Yeah. From the rest of them, because you're yeah. at the end of the day, you're not his friend. And you're still supposed to be that that person's teacher. You're you're that person's elder. You're supposed to be teaching them better. Like mm -hmm. you're the role model in this situation. So mm -hmm. you're supposed to be teaching your child how to do better than you've done in it. So you set that example mm -hmm. and lead the way. Otherwise, yeah, you just become one of those idiot mums. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, and you're making a lot more statistics happen because you're enabling your son. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um. I wonder, I don't know, I wonder if it happens in every culture. I know it's heavy in the Caribbean yeah. culture, but I don't know if it's... Like, yeah, comment it below. In, Afri because... in African cultures, because sometimes their mum's so strict that they're not... Yeah, yeah, they no, know there's yeah. a certain level of respect and, yeah. you know, that like, I'm not going to bring this around my mum or whatever the case yeah, may be. True. I think it heavy in the Caribbean yeah. household because you yeah, want to... Comment below if in your culture this happens or it, it would never happen or did it, like, comment below yeah, because that's it's what, true. Some cultures, they don't have a bar of it. No, I yeah. think I'm bringing that around my mum. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They might find other places to do it. They even put their but hand then, in their not pocket even, to do whatever. It just, it just, I, I think it just depends on the mum. It depends how mummy, how much of yeah. a mummy's boy you are yeah. and your mum and how much your mum will rate you. But it still happens a lot in the Caribbean culture. Yeah. In way more like that. a lot in the Caribbean culture, so I think the yeah. most. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, come on, we need to do better. Come on, guys. Yeah, you don't have to be Tyrone's friend and mum. Exactly. Yeah, do you know what I mean? <laughs> just be his friend. Just be his mum and lead him the right path to look after Sasha, cause Sasha good. It, Sasha okay, good. good. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, that's that. We want to wrap it up, but we wanted to touch on that. That. This that, topic that that yeah it was, it's a touchy subject for some of the some, 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 it's a touchy subject for most of us but yeah but i definitely want like c said can you leave your comments below we want to know if it happens in your culture we want to know if you've enabled something this or if, you've yeah. knocked, or if you've been a, a girlfriend and the mum's enabled something or whatever or if you're a mother now growing a child and how you think you're doing these situations yeah. like i've done told you like it ain't happening yeah, so yeah never. But yeah, leave the comments, fill us in, and mm -hmm. we hope you've enjoyed. Yeah, and don't, forget don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification button. And we'll see you in the next video. We out. Clink, 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 with my little stitches. No clink, clink, clink. <laughs>